It seems we have a new, oldest human ancestor. The Sequahitis from the description given by the scientists who discovered it resembled a bollock, with a mouth. The same scientists also claim the poor creature had no us and hence no other choice but to shit out of its aforementioned mouth. Very nice. The Sequahitis microfossils were found in Shanxi province, in central China, and predate all other known Draterostomes. By isolating the fossils from the surrounding rock, and then studying them both under an electron microscope and using a CT scan, the team were able to build up a picture of how Sacquahitis might have looked and lived. This revealed features and characteristics consistent with current assumptions about primitive deuterostomes. Dr. Jian Han, of Northwest University, said, We had to process enormous volumes of limestone, about three tons to get to the fossils, but a steady stream of new finds allowed us to tackle some key questions. Was this a very early echinoderm, or something even more primitive? The latter now seems to be the correct answer. In the early Cambrian period, the region would have been a shallow sea. Sacquahitis was so small that it probably lived in between individual grains of sediment on the seabed. The study suggests that its body was bilaterally symmetrical, a characteristic inherited by many of its descendants, including humans and was covered with a thin, relatively flexible skin. This in turn suggests that it had some sort of musculature, leading the researchers to conclude that it could have made contractile movements, and got around by wriggling. Perhaps its most striking feature, however, was its rather primitive means of eating food and then dispensing with the resulting waste. Sacquahitis had a large mouth, relative to the rest of its body, and probably ate by engulfing food particles, or even other creatures. A crucial observation are small conical structures on its body. These may have allowed the water that it swallowed to escape and so were perhaps the evolutionary precursor of the gills we now see in fish. But the researchers were unable to find any evidence that the creature had an anus. If that was the case, then any waste material would simply have been taken out back through the mouth, which from our perspective sounds rather unappealing, Conway Morris said.